state will invest $2 billion in new government and university buildings, as well as infrastructure and more. Governor Pat McCrory just signing the legislation that authorizes a March 15th statewide referendum. WNCN's political reporter, Bo Minnick, was at this morning's bill signing. He joins us now with the details. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, Stefan. As you can see, the bill signing just wrapped up here a short time ago. This bond package, again, a $2 billion bond package, is one that the governor and state lawmakers are hoping that voters will approve. It will be on the ballot in March. Let's go ahead and show you some video that we took here a short time ago. Several lawmakers and presidents from colleges at the UNC system were here for this bill signing. Much of that money, much of that $2 billion, about $980 million would go to infrastructure investments at the UNC system. Those who stagnate and don't continue to invest and prepare for that growth will suffer in quality of life and economic development and jobs. This is not a state that stagnates. This is a state that prepares for the future. This is a team of people that prepare for the future. Now, supporters of this bond have talked about needing to take advantage of good investment rates that are out there right now. It also sets aside some money for the National Guard, for state parks, and also for agricultural infrastructure. The governor talked today about these investments really lasting for the next 50 years here in North Carolina. But ultimately, again, this is a decision that's up to the voters. Live here at the NC State Centennial Campus, I'm Bo Minnick, WNCN.